In the next few minutes, we're going to be showing you how just about anybody can install a secure, affordable, and attractive glass block window, one of the most popular basement windows in the industry. During this informative video, you'll see the tools you need, how to measure the window opening, how to remove the frame and prepare the opening, how to mix the mortar, and how to set and secure the window. We'll also look at how to join together two smaller windows to fit into larger openings. Now, let's look at an actual installation. Today, we're going to need the following tools. Pre-mixed mortar, a hammer, a wrecking bar, a bucket and trowel, or an electric paddle mixer to mix the mortar, wedges or shims, and a level to set and align the window, a grout bag or a trowel to mortar the window into place, and a clean rag or sponge to clean up, and of course, a tape measure to get the proper measurement. We'll also recommend safety glasses and gloves be worn. The installation begins with measuring the width of the foundation opening, always looking for the narrowest point if the sides are uneven. You should measure the openings as if the window and its frame were already removed, and the height is taken from under the lintel to the top of the foundation still. Be sure to measure each of the windows you plan to replace even though they may look identical. You'll find they're very durable when properly stored and handled. Just remember to pick them up from the opposite corners and always store and transport them standing or lying flat. Now you're ready to remove the old window. First, take out the sash, which is the removable part of the window and usually slips out pretty easily. Next, bend out the frame. Metal frames like these are anchored to the sides, so bend the top down and the bottom up to free the frame. Use wooden blocks to avoid damage to the building while prying. By the way, wood frames are removed the same way, except in the case of wood, you want to saw through the top and the bottom before using the wrecking bar to break them free. Now we'll just knock off this mortar filler, and then the opening is ready for our glass block window. Now it's time to mix the mortar. You can use a white pre-mixed glass block mortar, which is a high strength masonry mortar, we recommend for its water resistance, strength, and compatibility with glass block. Or, if you prefer a gray color, you can use a Type S mortar mix. You can mix the mortar by hand with a trowel or with a paddle mixer. The consistency should resemble cookie dough. We also suggest you protect the surrounding masonry with some wide masking tape so the mortar doesn't stain any of the brick. Once the mortar is mixed, you're ready to set the window. First, we'll trowel down about half an inch of mortar across the sill. Smooth it out and then place a few wedges or shims on the sill. These shims will help you level the window and hold it into place while the mortar sets. Set the glass block window on top of the wedges and tilt it into place. And it's a good idea to have somebody on the inside to steady the window while you're securing it so it doesn't fall through. Check it for level. If necessary, shift the window to center it using the pry bar and adjust the wedge. Now check it for plumb. Tilt the top in or out as needed, then snug the wedges. Once your window is level and plumb, place additional shims at the top directly above the shims at the sill to secure the window. Now we can finish mortaring the glass block window into place. Run your trowel through the mortar a few times to make it pliable. Load a few trowel fools into the grout bag. Fold the top over a couple of times. Slip the tip into the space between the window and the foundation and squeeze, just like icing a cake. You may also forego the grout bag and simply mortar the window into place using your trowel. You may find a tuck pointer to be helpful in pushing the mortar into the joints as well. Continue to force that mortar all around the entire perimeter of the window. You'll want to do this on both the interior and exterior of your window. Use the trowel to smooth the mortar. Make sure there are no voids. Now, let the mortar set for about a half an hour. There's a common question, by the way, that says, why can't someone just come along and kick out this window? Well, as we mentioned earlier, mortar is a high strength masonry cement that when it's set, will hold that window securely into your foundation and you're not likely to come along and kick one of those out. Pre-assembled glass block windows can also be used in window openings up to 25 square foot in size. Now had this been a much larger opening, we would have had to install the window in two or more sections. Let's take a look at how you seam two glass block window sections together to fill a larger opening. First, you'll need to make sure you have a seam kit, which consists of a special flat vinyl spacer strip made for the glass block and a tube of glass block silicone. Why use glass block silicone? Well, 
Glass block silicone has a specific formulation that allows it to bond to both glass and the type of vinyl used to make most glass block accessories. Before setting your first glass block window section into place, measure and cut your vinyl spacer to the appropriate length if needed. After setting and securing the bottom panel into the window opening, run two beads of glass block silicone the full length of the window. Each bead of silicone should be applied behind the glass block's raised edges. The beads of silicone should be a quarter inch thick. Next, place the spacer strip over the two beads of silicone on the top of the first window panel. Make sure the spacer strip is centered. Now, run two more beads of glass block silicone along the side of the spacer strip. Keep the silicone about a quarter inch away from the edge of the spacer strip. Now you're ready to set the second window panel on top of the spacer strip. Finish securing the second glass block window panel into place. Run a bead of glass block silicone between the two sections you have just joined together to completely seal the joint. Go back and squeeze in a small dab of silicone where the corners of the block meet. This will help prevent any moisture from entering the window system. Now let's go back and take a look at how our glass block window installation is coming along. Well, the mortar's been setting up for about a half an hour and it's time to pull out those wedges and fill in the holes. Use the trowel to force mortar into the holes and make sure they're packed full. And then just smooth out all around the window. To create a professional looking finish, dampen an old paintbrush or inexpensive chip brush and run it over the mortar joints. With a clean rag or sponge, remove all of the excess mortar before it starts to set. Be careful not to disturb your mortar joints while they continue to set up. When the window surface dries, there may be a white film that will come off with a damp sponge or paper towel. Hey, that looks pretty good and only took a couple of hours. They're really pretty straightforward to install. And it only takes a few tools. You measure the rough opening, remove the existing frame, prepare the opening, mix the mortar, set the window, mortar it into place, finish it off, and clean it up. What could be easier?